Hi, it's great to see you again. The PRISM Mac application is finally here. You can download it now at our website, prismlive.com. Actually, the PRISM app had always had a Mac version. The app was released early in 2018 and supported until late 2020, when support was discontinued due to internal resource issues within the PRISM team. We know this inconvenienced many of our users, so we've put a lot of time and effort into creating this Mac app. This release of the PRISM Mac application is called V1 because it's a completely new application. To get the most out of PRISM Mac V1, there are a few things you need to know, so let's get started with today's video. Mac PRISM is basically the same as PRISM Windows. However, there are some differences due to the nature of the Mac OS. The first difference is the settings for the access permissions. In order for live streaming on Prism Mac, you need to edit some settings. In Prism Mac, you will need to use video capture device source, audio capture device source, Mac OS screen capture source, etc. for live streaming. To do this, you will need to add the Prism Live Studio application in the camera, microphone, screen recording permissions in the Mac's pr system preferences. The next thing we're going to talk about is recording sound. If you've ever tried to record sound on your Mac, you might be familiar with this. Typically, the sound coming in from your microphone is recorded, but the sound coming out of your Mac is not. To make this possible, you need a special setup. One way to do this is to use a third-party driver called Black Hole, Virtual Audio Driver. This driver is free and not difficult to use. Of course, since we're going to use their great product, it would be nice to make a donation. We'll leave the URL of the website where you can download the black hole driver in the description section of this video. Just go to that website and install the virtual audio driver on your Mac. Once the installation is complete, press command plus the spacebar button on your Mac to go to the audio MIDI setup app menu. Next, click the plus button in the bottom left corner to select the create multi output device menu. From here, select your Mac speakers as the first and black hole as the second. And make sure the drift correction option is checked for the black hole only. Now you can right click on the multi output devices item and select use this device for sound output. Finally, in the Prism Mac application, add the audio output capture source and select black hole in the device section to record the sound output from your Mac. Today, we talked about the release of the Prism Mac app and two things you need to know about using it. The Prism Mac app has a very similar interface to the Prism Windows app. There are tons of YouTube channels that walk you through the Prism Windows app, and you can probably find a few that can help you through the Prism Mac app. So if you have any questions, it's a good idea to search for how-to videos for the Prism Mac application. Please note that the Prism Mac application is a recently released application and there may be some features that are still missing. This is why we need your feedback. Your feedback will help us make the Prism Mac application even better. Thank you and I'll see you next time. Bye.